Hey guys, it's Shadi and Munro here. Just going to spend a little time with you today going through the changes to the Physique Male Body and the Physique Male HUD released in December of 2016. With this update, I've made some significant changes to the system, both externally in the form of new alpha cuts to the torso area and internally uh, to the scripts to allow for more options to be available. I'll go through each of the options in this tutorial, so let's get started. The first thing you'll notice when you wear your new HUD is that the interface has changed quite a lot. The icon for when it's minimized is now this red button in the top left corner of your screen. When you click it, a little menu pops down with four options on it. The first option is the alpha panel. When you click the alpha button on the menu, the alpha panel comes out and you can see all the various options that are available with alpha settings in this new body. In the middle here we have the individual parts that are available to be toggled on and off. If you click on one of these white sections, the corresponding section on the body will turn off. You can click on them individually or you can click on them in sequence and once you stop clicking the HUD will send the message to the body to turn those sections off. If you click on them slowly the HUD sends a message for each one but I wouldn't recommend doing it this way. Another option you have on this page is to toggle on large sections that I have uh, set as quick toggle sets. So down the left hand side you'll see some options called t-shirt, button down, long sleeve, v-neck, etc. And I've got some options for lower body clothing items and boots section. If you wish to wear a t-shirt and you want to have a good starting point for your t-shirt alpha setup, just press the t-shirt button and a selection of areas will disappear from the body. If you find the sleeves are too long for the alpha setting, you can simply toggle them back on. If you find the shirt is too short, simply make it a little bit longer, the alpha buttons. When you want to toggle on the black areas again, just press toggle all twice and everything will come back on. Similarly, on the right hand side, I've set up various body, body sections to be toggleable by buttons. So if you're wearing something on your lower body and you want to turn off the pelvis and your legs, you can simply press those two buttons to start with. And then if you find that that's too high, you can simply turn these back on. They will reappear. So that's a quick, easy way to access large alpha areas without clicking on all of these buttons individually. Turn it back on. Just simply press toggle all until all of the buttons on the HUD are white and your body is once again visible. These two buttons down the bottom are for targeting the skin layer only and they are for if you're wearing an applier, sometimes in certain poses the applier layer can clip with your skin layer. So turning on the groin, for example, turns off the section of skin and you can't see it here but I'll do it the armpit just to show you what I mean. So it turns off the section that is defined so that you can wear applier clothing without those areas clipping through the applier layer. Over on the left side here you have the sections for the male genitals which I won't toggle on. You can figure out how they work for yourself. Uh, you can't tick this option as long as the underwear layer is active. If you disable the underwear layer and you tick this option, every single time you take off your underwear layer, the genitals will be visible, and every time you turn on your underwear layer, the genitals will disappear. If you don't ever want to be unexpectedly ex exposed in public, I recommend keeping the options off. Up the top left corner of the alpha panel we have a help button. When you click it you'll get this lovely little help panel pop out. 
which has some information about what each of these button sections do and any prerequisites if you need to have them enabled. If you want to get rid of this alpha, this alpha help panel again, you can just click anywhere on this section and it will go away. By default, the slink male body comes with the lower body of the underwear layer enabled and the red underwear selected. You can turn this option off if you don't wish to see this underwear. I'll just put on some mesh boxes. And when you turn those options off, you can see that the layer underneath the mesh boxes has disappeared. This is also applicable to the tattoo layer, which I will enable here. And I'm wearing this lovely tattoo today from Lettuce Ta Tattoos by Letty Hacks. So if you want to see the tattoo that you've applied to the tattoo layer, you need to have these options visible. This button here toggles on the entire layer. And you can see that I have the default texture on the lower half of this body and a lovely flower on my feet. So that button and these buttons here also control the hands and the feet of the tattoo layer. And just toggle it off if you don't want to see it anymore. There's no need to replace textures unless you're replacing them with another applier. Same goes for the clothing layer. And you can see here the texture that comes default packaged on the body. If you can see this clothing toggle with utilities HUD message, then you're just wearing the default texture and you can toggle it off or you can replace it with an applier. So I'll turn this underwear back on so that I can uh, show you the next section. So I switched here to the default underwear appliers. It comes default with three different options, gray, red, and black. And by default, it will be set on black out of, uh, on red, sorry, out of the box. If you want to replace this texture on your underwear layer, just use an underwear plier from a third party creator or create one of your own and use the Slink personal HUD. So the next section under the, underneath there is the um, options for dyeing or tinting your layers. The physique body comes included with a RGB HUD, which allows you to get get into uh, various sections of the body and tint them separately. So for example, if you want to tint your upper underwear and your lower underwear separately from each other, I'd recommend using the RGB HUD. But in this HUD, there is a basic system where you can tint the entire layer all at once without having to go to that RGB HUD. So all you need to do to tint your layer is select the one you want to tint. In this case, I'm tinting the skin and just slide your mouse around until you find a color that you like. And when you lift your cursor up, it will change to that, your body will change to that color. You can see down the bottom here, the color is 230, 18, 231. That is the red, green, and blue value of that particular shade of pink. But if you want to go back to the white, you can just hit the reset to white button. And you'll notice it also changed the hands and feet, which are not included in the body package, but the HUD controls them as well as the body. If I want to tint the underwear layer, I can go to the underwear tab and repeat the process. As soon as I lift my mouse up, the underwear changes color. So you can get some cool uh, effects with that and then just reset to white when you want to change back. This option here underneath underwear, tattoo and clothing is for setting the layer to the alpha mask mode. The difference between this version and the previous version of this is we can now control the level of masking that the mode does. So previously it was set by me and hard coded into the script. 
And now when you toggle it on, it goes by default to a value of 51. But if you feel that that's too low, you can actually just bump the slider up a little bit, say to 106, and you can see the edge get a little more refined. Up a little further, you can see the edge changes again. So this allows you to wear clothing on top of a tattoo layer without having the clothing apply layer interfere with the visibility of the tattoo layer. It works best with clothing that has a solid texture and a hard edge. I don't recommend it for sheer textures or textures that have a lot of transparency in them like a tattoo layer. When you want to toggle that off again, just press toggle mask and it will go back to the alpha blend mode. Once again, there's a help button in the top left corner of your layers panel. And there are a number of sections with information on them for each of those buttons that are available on this panel. And now we'll look at the skins tab. I have packaged with this body six default skins and each skin has a built-in body hair option along with the built-in basic hairless option. So if you want to add body hair to your physique body, it's this one. Keep in mind that it replaces the skin. It doesn't put the texture on top of the skin you have if you're using a third party skin. The skin buttons will also send their textures to the Slink Avatar Enhancement hands and feet if you own them and are wearing them and any future avatar enhancement heads or visage heads for men that I produce. And this is one that I've got waiting in the wings. The next button's down, you won't be able to see it, but they change the texture on the genitals and they allow you to wear a third party skin where the third party creator has not included a genitals texture. So you can click on one of these and then use the included RGB HUD to tint that particular section to match your skin. And I've also included on the uh, in the built-in skins some specular maps. So we have a sheen here, which is just a very light shine that applies to the body and gives you a little bit more of a sort of a shimmer a glow if you like you need to have advanced lighting enabled to, to be able to see this i recommend you enable advanced lighting anyway because it's well it's cool so you know turn it on it's under your uh, viewer preferences under graphics I've also included a droplets texture which gives the body a little bit more of a uh, wet look like he's just climbed out of the ocean these will apply over any skin it doesn't matter if it's one of the built-in skins or not, you can use them over any of them. And if you want to clear the option, just press the clear skin effects button. And that will clear any specular map that you've applied to the skin, whether it's these or whether it's been applied with a third party applier HUD. It also removes them from the hands and feet. I'll turn this on because the next tab requires the specular layer to be active. And now we're going to look at the effects. The advanced effects is for people who are using uh, advanced lighting in Second Life. Um, it controls the appearance of the specular map and whether or not you can see a normal map that's been applied to this body. Because I turned the specular map on the previous tab, I, sh I should be able to work with this. So the first thing you'll see on the Advanced Effects tab is a series of buttons down the side. These control which layer you're targeting with the options on the right. So if you want to change the specular map settings on the skin layer, target the skin tab. So now that I've done that, I can change the glossiness value by default. It starts at 51, which is the second life default, but you can change that if you like. So can make that a little bit stronger and you can set you can see that that just changed you can make it a little bit stronger again see that now the specular is 
sort of sharpening and narrowing into a more shiny gloss. If we take that all the way up to 234 or so, you can see now it's a very bright point of light. Similarly, we can take it all the way down to, say, 20, and we get a much more diffuse specular effect. You can also take it all the way down to zero if we want, but um, keep in mind, if your specular is set to zero, there is still a specular map on the skin. It doesn't actually clear the texture. So we'll put that back up to 100 or so. The next option on the HUD is the environment value slider. This is just the environment reflections that are applying to these items. So if we put that up to 140, you can see you turn into this amazing, shiny, shimmery creature. Currently, these two options and the tint don't work on the slink hands and feet, but they will. Um, I'll be updating those body parts in the early new year, so they will have that option. So if you wish to take your glossy all the way up, just click on it near the end and click on the next increment of 10. 255 is the maximum. These fine tune buttons here go in increments of one for the small increment and 10 for the large increment. And you can drop it all the way down to zero if you want to turn the glossy effect off. If you want to take the specular map altogether, just take it away, just clear the clear specular map, and that will clear any specular map that is applied to the selected layer. For now, I'll put it back on because I want to show you the next part. Okay, so we also have the ability to tint the specular map. This isn't tinting the skin, this is tinting the specular map which is applied to the skin. If I wanted to go a nice yellow color here, just slide around on the HUD till I find the tint that I want. And uh, as soon as I lift my mouse, that tint is sent to the specular map on the body. You can see that it's turned a lovely shade of yellow. So you can achieve some really cool effects with body glitter or tattoos. If you wanted to tint the specular on your tattoo layer. And achieve some nice effects with them. Once again, the tint doesn't yet apply to the hands and the feet and the head, but it will as soon as I've updated those items. Yeah. When you want to go back to white, just hit the reset to white button. Clear that now and show you the next part. Underneath other properties, we have the full bright button and the glow button. So if you want to, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if you want to be full bright, just click the full bright button and your body will stop responding to shadows. I wouldn't recommend that for skin. Uh, it might make you look a little bit weird and it doesn't currently work with the hands and feet, but again, it will once I've updated those items. The glow value is self-explanatory. If I want to make my underwear glow, click on the underpants layer, set the glow value. You can also click and drag on this slider to find the exact value that you want, say 45. As soon as you lift your cursor up, it will send that command to the body. You can fine tune any of these sliders in the same way. These large double arrows go up in increments of 10 and these small arrows change in increments of one. And the, that one there minimizes, so that's how you can turn the glow off. Once again, in the top left corner, there is a help button and it brings out a panel of helpful tips for this particular page. If you have any questions that aren't covered by this little video, you can contact me in Weld, uh, Shadian Munro, or my assistant Slink Resident, and uh, we will try to help you as much as we can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you, 
And uh, once again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Cheers.